one mid-handicap golfer, one European Tour putting coach, the rest could be history. Let's do it. Guys, let's do it now. Let's do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel and this is your very first time watching my content, first of all, welcome. And second of all, please take a second to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Today, I'm not gonna lie, today I'm not doing a great deal. Because Mark. Hello everybody. How you doing Mark, you well? I'm good, thank you, yeah. Mark is having a putting lesson with Chris who potentially sorted my putting out, but that's yet to be decided. I'm not gonna lie, I've not practiced Chris. Well, it's, you know, I get that all the time, but James, I don't expect anything less from you. Well, as long as the putting works better for me than yeah. it does for him, I'm happy. Exactly. So, putting lesson for Mark, the mid-handicap tester, golfer. You're more than a tester, you're a person, aren't you? I'm a person, yes. He's a person, I'm, I'm he's not just, not just a mid-handicap tester. Chris, when you're teaching a kind of mid-handicapper as opposed to somebody on tour, yep. do you change anything? Do you look for anything different? So no, I wouldn't do anything different with a mid handicapper to a tour pro, you know. We're still trying to look for the same things to try and get them consistent with the putting stroke. If we can get them consistent with the stroke, start line, you know, they can perform just as good as a, as a tour pro. Uh, tour pros might be a little bit more... So are you saying you're going to turn Mark, the mid handicap person, into a tour pro? Fingers crossed. If we can get him down to 28 putts around, we'll get that handicap down from mid, mid range. Seniors tour, Mark. Yeah. Seniors tour. Sorry, Mark, so just talk to us a little bit about your putting um, and what you're hoping to kind of get from from this lesson. Yeah, sure. Well, I've I've done the aim point lessons. Yeah. Um, and that really helped me when I first did them, which would have been about two years yeah. ago now. The other thing I'm conscious of is I, I struggle to get the ball close enough to the hole on long distance putts when I'm a long way from the hole. You know, more than you can relate to that. More than that. sort of. Amen. <laughs> ten ten yards sort yeah. of thing, that sort of distance out, I really struggle to get the ball close enough to the hole to okay. be sh confident of my second putt. Yeah. Chris, where would you begin, mid-handicapper? So we're going to start, we've got a, a range of distances, so we've got an 8-foot putt, 10-foot putt, 15 and 20, so we're going to get a basis of, okay, different ranges. We'll film the stroke on those putts, and then we'll go on to the straight putt. So those who watch the video with James, We'll do the same where we want to see what the ball performance is doing. So we want to see if there's backspin on the ball, if we want to see if there's cut spin or hook spin. Because again, there are all factors that can affect distance control, where the ball's starting and why we're not holding right. as many putts. Okay. Oh. Very good. So guys, while we're watching this, just hit those comments below. Is there anything here you can relate to? Do you feel like you can improve your golf by improving your putting? And remember, we don't want Mark to get too good. We have our big match coming up soon. That is going to be either Spain or Portugal. We've not decided yet, but it's going to be a big match. We don't need you getting too good. Yes, we do. No, no. Any reason why you don't use the line? Is it just you've never used the line, or? Um, no, I used to use I used to use the line. Okay. But I find it just takes too long. Yeah. I struggle struggle with I'm stepping back, try, constantly trying to line it Become up. Become obsessed with. I come obsessed with with getting a straight line, and then yeah. I don't I'm not hitting the ball very well. Yeah. Um, okay. Perfect. Right. Let's hit this one. It's a straight putt, so I want you just to set up as normal. Not this one in. <coughs> So Chris, just tell everyone what you're doing here, apart from having a nap. I think I'll lie down. Uh, so here, what we're trying to do is get the ball performance. Uh, so to see if there's any movement on the ball, if he's cutting across the ball or hitting any hook spin. Okay. Good. So. Okay, we can see the line on there, so we're going to watch the putter and how it works away from the ball. So you can 
see there where it strikes the putter. It's probably close yeah. to the heel. It's heel, isn't it? Yes. Okay, and you can see how it comes off a little bit left. Yeah. With a little bit of hook spin. Yeah. But it does go in the hole. And then you see how your putter finishes out to the right. So it's a little bit of a closed face across the ball. Yeah. So we can look from here from face on. You can see the ball position's a little bit a little bit back. A little bit back. So the ball's in the centre. Ideally what we want to work around is the club being the centre so everything's matching from your, your buttons on your shirt right. to your belt buckle to the butt of the club. Okay. If we now watch the motion. Take away. The butt of the club's still pointing to your belt buckle which is very good. That's what we want to do. And then again you can just see Pretty much, if we took a picture, it'd return exactly the same as how you were at setup. Yeah. Okay. And you can see how you're. We're gonna push away from yeah. the, the if belt buckle, don't I? Though? Yeah. If you watch your head and your lower body, how it's moving yeah. towards the target. See on the way through how it wants to go away from you. So yeah. we saw on the video from the ball performance how your putter wanted to went back pretty good. Then as it came in, it wanted to go a little bit away from you and out to the right. With the closed face, that's putting the hook spin on there. Yeah. Okay, so setup wise, we just want to work a little <clears> bit <throat> on that ball uh, ball position. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do that now. And we're also going to get in a Visio mat just to help us get the stroke so it's now going into it. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. a little bit more consistent. So hopefully we can get that okay. now straight. Yeah. So what's this we're putting down now, Chris? Uh, so we're going to put the Visio mat down. Um, it is a Phil Kenyon design mat and um, basically what we want to do from this is it gives us a visual of how the stroke can work on the way back how it's going to have a little bit of an inwards arc and then on the way through the same okay but also we saw that mark had the club face slightly closed at address yeah so the visual of the lines across now will be able to help him get the putter square to start with mm -hmm. so now we can get good alignment to start with with the help of the stroke, we can now get that a lot more launching straight. So hopefully with neutral spin, we can get it starting online. It should help us improve speed control. See, as you look down, you'll see how it toe is still closed. Okay. So we're going to try and get that so it now matches. We can even get it a little bit closer so it's square there. Yeah. And then we won't see any of the whites before you set off. So we can guarantee that that is now square to the target. by using the towel. So luckily on the towel, it is a half and half towel. Mm -hmm. So we can make sure that the ball is in the center. You that on purpose? Oh, I don't mess around. Of course. So we've got the line, the, the divide of the uh, two I'm towels. I'm amazed you brought that. Oh, I'm just on the ball today, on fire. So that's the divide, so that represents the center. So the ball's now in line. The ball is in line with it at the moment, but we want that to be the club. So the club wants to be in the center see that we've now set up the mat to match the towel so the towel is split it's got a middle to it for the two different uh, fibers so then you can match that up with the center of the putter so that's in the yeah. center of your stance so if we look now yeah. if you look down at your feet you'll see that your feet aren't even to the They're middle not even. Of that. No, not at all so we're going to have you shuffle a little bit to your right perfect okay so that's now in the center feels strange where the ball is now good Okay, so yeah. on there I, you can now... I moved now forward again, didn't I? I pushed through that. That's it. So your feedback there from that putt is you can see with using the mat where the putter then travels. Yeah. Good. Okay, so you see where the putter's finished now. It's yeah. just inside that arc. Yeah. Okay. Very good. So we've held that and again it's on the inside of the yeah. line. Yeah. So every time you practice, we're making a consistent stroke. Mm -hmm. Because the thing is, like James, he goes away and he doesn't practice unfortunately. Yeah. You know, he calls himself a professional. Debatable. So again, when you're away from this, you can practice and it can be consistent. Yes. Yeah. So we're going to go now and we're going to just do something for distance control. Okay. So we've 
helped the strokes, so we've worked a little bit of that and the alignment to yeah. help us be more yeah. consistent. So now we're going to set up a drill that's just purely based on distance control. Right. Which you say you're comfortable with on the golf course. Yeah. 20 feet, which then becomes a little bit not as comfortable. Mm -hmm. And then 30 feet, which is the dreaded distance of trying to get it hopefully as close as possible. Yeah. But you yeah. leave yourself those tests. Okay. Okay. So we're going to go on the two pound coin. Two pound coin? Who's paying you? I don't know, I've had a whip round today. So, first one, or first three, we're going to put to 10 feet, okay? okay? So I want you just to feel like this is normal. We don't have to hit the tee, it just wants to be in line with the tee. Yep. Yeah. Would have been perfect. Yes. The ones that we got to 10 feet, the backstroke was back to the tee. Right, there. Right. Okay. So we want to work on your stroke length. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if we have a normal stroke and we go back, let's say 10 inches, come through, that may relate to 10 feet. Okay. Yes. So then we can yes. have a consistent stroke length and we can just allow the putt to flow. Yeah. Okay. The focus now is to get the face in line with the T. Okay, so you see on the video that that'll be slightly long slightly of the T. Slightly yeah. Okay, and it's gone a foot past. Yeah. But again, that's not a bad point of reference. Before you hit it, maybe just have some practice yeah. strokes of where you go back to where it feels. Okay. And how does that feel to you? Does it feel very long? Yeah. Yeah. It feels very long. We're coming through. Mm -hmm. Now. Okay. Good. Two from three, we'll take that. Yeah. Okay, so now we'll go for, again, the distance where you're not so comfortable, which is maybe yes. that's 30 feet or longer. Yeah. So if I can find another tee. Okay. Oh, my. Pretty good. Okay, next one in. See that probably... Okay, so it's a little bit more, so maybe a couple inches couple more. Inches more than that. And then going so. back, it is half the distance. So ah, right, okay, yes. Going, yeah. So it's going to be half, probably half yeah. the grip. Yeah. So, guys, mid handicap putting session with a tour coach. You can come in, guys, it's okay. Tell me what you've done. So, the first thing. I mean, I'm not going to say the lesson looked better than my lesson, but he got a lot more than I but got. It was. So. It was, definitely was. Go on. I'll go with the reviews. <laughs> um, so, what we've done is to start with, obviously we wanted to look at how uh, Mark was swinging the putter and how he did with different length putts, you know, so from your 8 feet up to 20 feet, what changed, how his green reading was, if he was starting the ball online. So green reading, he's done aim point, uh, he mentioned that earlier and very consistent, you know, he got probably all the reads correct, he just struggled with the pace like he identified at the start of the session. We saw a little bit of hook spin on the ball, so we used the Vizio mat, we was able to get the club face square at address, and then from there work on getting more of an in-to-in arc to make sure there was neutral spin, so again that would help him with that distance control. We then went on to uh, pure distance control where we wanted to give him a reference of how far he was taking the putter, so again Put some comments below saying what you think about when you're working on distance because a lot of people have different ideas of do you work on distance yeah do you it's work a big thing that i see a lot of people will work on the stroke until they're kind of long in the tooth but they won't necessarily work on distance control and if you can start a ball online and get the right distance control if you read there or thereabouts you've sold it haven't you yeah so again like james says not many people practice distance you may go on putting green and just hit it a few different holes 
a lot of tour players are very much the same, you know. They may just get out there and hit it a few, oh, I've got the pace, get out there, the greens might be a little bit quicker and they start to struggle. You know, and you can quickly lose a lot of shots on the putting green, as we all know. Yes, you can. All three of us know very well. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be interesting to see just how you put, well, how we both put now in our big match. It might, that's it will, potentially yes, what it could yes. come down to, isn't it? It could. Yeah. And James does have a Vizio mat, yeah. but he has been a bit... Uh, he can borrow it after the match. That's fair, isn't it? <laughs> okay, guys, thank so, you so much. Thank you very much. Awesome, Mark. Well Thanks, done, James. really, really good. Thank you very much. Thanks. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed that. We hope you've taken a lot from it. If you would like to speak to Chris regarding... Anything, regarding anything, putting. The, the glasses, the cap. The glasses, the cap, anything. <laughs> regarding putting lessons, we are going to start working more together online, as well as Chris now being based at Rotherham. So if you want to go and find him for some putting, Follow him on Twitter, that's here. Is it Chris Arsenal FC? It is not Chris, no, Chris Arsenal FC, as James likes to say. It is Chris underscore Dennis PGA. Perfect. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Mark, thank you so much thank again. You. I'll really take opportunity. Go and have a word with Chris. Perfect. Brilliant. Leave us a like if you've enjoyed that. Smash those comments below. What do you think would help your putting? And as always, we'll see you tomorrow.